Tensions at the border have hit a boiling point. Mexican nationalists clash with migrants waiting to get into the U.S. Our tennis reporter Anthony Pura is live at the border where crews continue to reinforce the wall tonight. Well, they are making the wall higher. You can see the old wall here at the end of this parking lot, and then you can see the new one over there. Crews are working on that tonight. Border Patrol says this was a pre-planned upgrade that started in the summer. It is coming at a time, though, when migrants are knocking at the door, creating strain on both countries. Violence erupted on the Mexican side of the wall. Tijuana residents are frustrated with a large number of Central American migrants. Last night, this exchange ended with punching, kicking, and rock throwing. One person left with a bloody eye. No es discriminar, no es ser racista. This Tijuana resident says they're not discriminating against the caravan, but says there are so many and no place to put them. He doesn't want any more to come, though thousands more are on their way. This man says he wants to know what the government will do to protect Tijuana residents because he doesn't think many of the migrants will be able to cross into the U.S. U.S. troops and Border Patrol are making sure no one comes illegally. Concertina Wire and U.S. patrols at Friendship Park are waiting for any migrant daring enough to try. Behind the Las Americas outlet mall, crews are working into the night on a new border wall. It's 20 feet taller than the current one in some areas. It's also see-through and built with anti-climbing features. Border Patrol says it is part of a construction project that started in June to replace 14 miles of aging wall. It is not related to the caravan, but should help secure the border overall. Now, Border Patrol has not given us an idea of how many people are waiting to get into the U.S., but we understand that members from the first caravan back in May are still waiting to be processed. We're reporting live tonight, Anthony Pura, 10 News. Now, the government in Mexico's border city, Tijuana, is struggling to deal with hundreds of migrants who have arrived in recent days. Meantime, the people who live there are having to cope with the influx as well, leading to conflicts in the street. One America's Blue Glaze has more on the situation at the border. Violence breaks out at the border as Mexican residents begin pushing back against the hundreds of migrants who have arrived in the first wave of the Central American caravan. Police broke up a confrontation Wednesday night after residents of one community in Tijuana took to the streets to protest the hundreds of migrants who have flooded in as they seek to enter the United States. Amid cries of racism, the Mexican natives defended their actions by saying their city is already overcrowded. We are not discriminating against anyone. We are not being racist. What we want is security for the community. We don't want any more migrants in Playa de Tijuana. This comes after the DHS reported there are hundreds of known criminals, including violent gang members, traveling in the caravan confirming suspicions voiced by President Trump in what he has referred to as an invasion on the United States. After arriving on buses this week, dozens of migrants are camping out next to the fence bordering California, while others are now sleeping in cramped shelters or in tents on the streets of Tijuana as they wait to apply for asylum. According to Border Patrol in the area, the agency has apprehended more than a dozen migrants already who have attempted to cross into the U.S. illegally by jumping the border fence. Authorities say they're expecting around 2,000 more people to arrive in the coming days, while the latest estimates indicate there may be 10,000 migrants in all, as the bulk of the caravan is still making its way through the heart of Mexico. Luke Glaze, One America News.